Scenes from Burba Lake, where a shoreline improvement project started this week. More on that in a moment. Hello and welcome to Meet Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, highlights from this month's installation town hall and retiree appreciation day is coming up. These stories and more, but first, Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Yolanda Gore hosted her first installation town hall this month. The forum addressed a variety of issues from housing to health care, but most questions revolved around traffic in the gates. Colonel Gore gave an update on the status of Reese Road Gate. We're doing a traffic study to figure out what is the best course of actions. And along with that, you see the construction is done, but there's signage, there's equipment, there's other things that have to be ordered. So we won't see Reese open probably until after the new year. But again, we actively want to open Reese. Making his first appearance at an installation town hall, New Kimbro Ambulatory Care Center and Fort Meade Medac Commander, Colonel Daryl Metcalf, talked about some recent changes at the clinic. Uh, we did also stand up at what we're calling our virtual urgent care uh, for all of our TRICARE Prime beneficiaries. That's a, that's a new program as well. Uh, it's, it's available Monday through Fridays, uh, 07 uh, to 2000, and then Saturday from 7, 07 to 1400, and that's closed on Sundays. Um, we do have our new TRICARE uh, contract started in, in January of this year. It's a new 10-year contract that we have with, with TRICARE. Uh, we will be transitioning in 2025. Really, that should be pretty transparent to you, but what I do need you all to do is go into DEERS, our Defense Enrollment and Eligibility Reporting System, and make sure that we have all of your information updated uh, so we can ensure that as we transition, uh, we get all that information out to you to the proper emails uh, and proper addresses uh, as, they, as they mail out the new TRICARE information. You can watch the entirety of the town hall on our Facebook page. Just click on videos. Meanwhile, if you're catching the show before October 25th, don't forget about Fort Meade's annual Retiree Appreciation Day. It's on Friday the 25th from 8 to 2.30 at the McGill Training Center. The event features guest speakers, a health fair with flu shots, informational booths, deers and ID card renewals, casualty assistance and more. A raffle with door prizes will run through the day. Once again, this year's Retiree Appreciation Day is October 25th at the McGill Training Center. For more information, you can email the Fort Meade Retirement Services Officer, Ms. Christine Hotkey. In other news, the Director of Public Works Environmental Division started a Burbo Lake Shore Improvement Project this week. The project is focusing on the treatment of invasive plant species and the creation of a meadow and a pollinator habitat. Anyone who's been on Burbo Lake knows that sometimes the shore the water is kind of hard to see because of the thick layer of vegetation between the pass and the shore and a lot of that is invasive. Um, I checked our project records and we actually did a Burble Lake improvement project about 20 years ago and that was the last time we really uh, put effort into maintaining that shoreline. So it was overdue and we wanted to find other ways to improve the area and clearing out those invasive species on the whole south side of the lake is a great way to do it. The Burba Lake project benefits the entire community and it's taking a community effort. When I first came on in May, uh, we did sort of an initial meeting of the project and something that Julie really tried to focus on was trying to get as many parties um, involved as possible. So Master Planning was there, um, MWR. MWR was there, Stormwater was there. Mm -hmm. We hope to kind of expand community involvement uh, in future years after we get some of these things established, you know, maybe tie them into Earth Day, maybe, you know, get some volunteer support. Uh, the We're in talks with the high school ROTC, JR, JROTC, and they are going to help us probably do some stewardship and some weeding and, and help us maintain things. And that's the kind of support we're looking for and, and looking for the outreach and getting people involved. And finally this week, it's not too early to think about your Thanksgiving plans. MWR and Club Meet are offering a Thanksgiving dinner to go option. The complete turkey or ham dinner includes all the sides and serves four to six people. Individual menu items are also available. All orders must be made by phone or in person by November 21st. Call Club Meet at 301-677-6969 to order and for more information. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. I was running until I wasn't. My hospital stay would have cost nearly $48,000, even with insurance. But with VA, I'll pay zero. And VA is the best, most affordable healthcare in America for veterans like me. Knowing that my family is waiting at home and a surprise medical bill isn't, that's good for my heart. My service was then, my benefits are now. Get what you earned. Visit choose.va.gov.